Warm reactive autoantibodies create complex serological problems that can be time consuming to resolve. Samples from patients with warm autoantibodies present with one or both of the following. A positive direct antiglobulin test due to in vivo coding of red blood cells and or a positive indirect antiglobulin test due to free serum autoantibody. Autoantibody often reacts with all reagent and donor red blood cells tested. Consequently, it's difficult to ascertain whether underlying alloantibodies are present. Immucor's warm autoantibody removal medium, also known as WARM, is used for the removal of warm reactive antibody from the surface of red blood cells, preparing them for use in an autoabsorption procedure. This reagent is based on the ZZAP reagent, which employs diethylphreatol and cysteine activated papain to elute antibodies. Consult the warm package insert for more information about the surface antigens altered with this procedure. I'll now demonstrate the warm procedure. Reconstitute a vial of warm reagent by adding five milliliters of DI water. Add one volume of packed red blood cells to an appropriately labeled test tube. It is not necessary to wash these red blood cells prior to warm treatment. Now, add two volumes of the reconstituted warm reagent to this vial. Mix and incubate the mixture for 30 minutes at 37 degrees Celsius. After incubation, wash the warm treated cells three times with saline, being careful to decant all of the saline between washes. After the warm treated red blood cells have been sufficiently washed, add an equal volume of donor or patient serum or plasma to the tube. Mix and incubate at 37 degrees Celsius for 30 to 60 minutes. During this incubation, the warm treated red blood cells will be absorbing the autoantibody from the donor or patient's serum or plasma. After incubation, centrifuge the mixture for approximately two minutes. After centrifugation, harvest the supernatant. Test an aliquot of the supernatant to ensure that sufficient autoantibody has been removed. If results indicate that absorption was successful, the serum or plasma is ready for antibody detection and identification procedures. If the adsorption was insufficient, repeat the procedure using the same plasma, but a new set of patient red blood cells. 